Did you know the quality of our water is part of the nexus? This connection exists because if a user group doesn't strive to protect water sources, all other users are impacted. The opposite is also true. When one user group innovates their processes to improve water quality, other user groups benefit. The agriculture sector is a user group who have implemented many innovative processes to improve water quality. Cattle producers, for example, often keep manure storage sites and grazing animals away from natural water supplies. This change was implemented because animal waste harms plants, animals, and other downstream users if it enters a water body. Crop irrigators who rely on pesticides to maximize yields are another agriculture group who use innovative processes to protect water bodies. Rules in place include ensuring pesticide application is done at least 30 meters away from water bodies, checking equipment for leaks before spraying, avoiding applying pesticides if rain is in the forecast, and applying pesticides only when the wind is low and blowing away from water bodies. These and countless other changes made by the agriculture sector have benefited all other water users in the nexus. Municipalities, for example, take water from the Bow River, treat it, and then send it to households to be used for activities such as drinking, washing, and cooking. Because the agriculture industry keeps the Bow River cleaner, water treatment plants have less work to do to provide clean water. Can you think of other innovations the agriculture sector has made to improve water quality? And what about your personal choices? What can you do to ensure your actions lead to water quality improvements for other water users?